Ooh, what's up, people? This is Mr. Brandon here, and this week we're going to deep fry a base using Blamsoft's resampler. And by deep fry, I mean we're going to make it better because everything's better after you deep fry it, right? Anyways, we're going to take a base that sounds like this and turn it into this. So let's go ahead and get started by opening a new session. Go ahead and switch over to our rack and create a Thor. Now show programmer, right click on the Thor and reset device. Now we're going to take our first oscillator, which is the default by analog oscillator, and we're going to turn that into a square wave. And that's all we're going to do to Thor. That's what makes it sound like this, which was the first synth we had. So that's the base that we start out with. And on this, we're going to create our resampler, which is a creative effect. And by default, it will sound like this. Which is good, but I want to make it better. So let's start out by changing this classic one to modern three. And turn the rate all the way up. We can go anywhere from 44, 100 to about 19, 633. Let's just go ahead and listen to what that sounds like. Listen to it up. That's where I'm going to keep it for now. Moving on, we're going to move into the quantizer section and turn this to 2.5 bits, which is all the way down. Then head over to the up sampler and change this classic one to modern six. And we're going to put it on 88% wet. And we now have a sound that sounds like this. And it's that easy. Now that might sound a little bit too high and crispy and hurt your ears just a little bit. It definitely sounded better through my studio monitors, and then when I put on my headphones, I was like, ah, doesn't feel too well. So let's go ahead and EQ that out. Go to Studio Effects. I'm going to use M Class Equalizer. Turn on the high shelf, and bring the gain down about 9 decibels. And we have this. And there you have it, a deep fried base. Super simple with Blamsoft's resampler. Playing around with the resampler, you can do a lot of things. One really cool thing that I like is playing around with the rate while playing. So let's go ahead and turn our sustain up. As you can hear that it sounds like this. You can do some crazy stuff. So if you haven't bought the Ray Sampler yet, I highly advise that you look into it. It's one of the cheaper rack extensions, and it's definitely worth the price. 